You are? Yep. Can you tell me why CBS? How many, how many uh, different colored people did you see in there? What's that? How many different colored people, ethnicities, did you see in there? I'm not sure where you're not sure about, no. because CBS National yeah you think it's goofy CBS National is reporting that it's a bunch of white people that have taken this place over have you seen everyone that's involved have you taken their pictures are you are you aware that CBS National was reporting that these are white people were you able to see them Excuse me, were you able to see them sorry <laughs> were you able to see them how come you don't want to comment are you proud that CBS National is putting that out? That this is like a racist event? You think it's funny? This message right... And if I, uh, this is a little dark to the video, what do you think? Think we could do it? Polar bear, Might polar be too bear. dark. That's okay. Sorry, do you mind spelling your name for me? <laughs> uh, my name is Pete Santilli. P-E-T-E-S-A-N-T-I-L-L-I. -E okay. -E and where are you from? Uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. And I have, uh, essentially I'm a radio talk show host. Okay. And probably one of the most controversial, but it's the second largest radio talk show uh, in all of uh, independent media. Cool, I'll have to check yeah. you out. Yeah, um, please do. So uh, when did you get here? I've been on Huffington Post several times. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I apologize for all my calls no, that's in okay. advance. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did you get here? I uh, got here uh, a few days ago, in fact. Okay. Right, that's me. Oh, great, thanks. The Pete Santelli Show. Got here uh, a few days ago. I've actually been covering the Hammond family for the past couple of months. Oh, okay. I, I found out Smash about it through family. the research that Ben and Bundy did. Uh-huh. And, uh, hey, Ben, can I give this to you? Just hold this, uh, and it's... it's. A, actually, so, are you are you here as a, as a reporter, or are you here you know as, what? A, I'm a, as I'm a, a activist? Yeah. Well, first of all, I... Right now, okay, in this role, especially because of the safety of the people I love that are on the inside there, sure. uh, they're some of our, our nation's greatest patrons. I know them personally. Uh, I have an obligation, okay? I have an obligation to make sure that their safety is first and foremost. I'm here acting as a reporter. But out here, I'm going to be an activist to, to speak out about what I know, especially sure. if somebody gets things wrong. So I'm, I'm operating as a, as a reporter. Sure. For their benefit. <laughs> so, so what do I need to know about the, the controversy so I'm not getting it wrong? Because obviously I'm jumping into it. I mean, I'm aware of, of land fights from growing from Washington. The controversy is as follows, mm -hmm. uh, and I have proof of what I'm about to say. Sure. The federal government has been terrorizing ranchers. Mm -hmm. Now, they've spun that into these guys being terrorists. Yeah. Well, They're actually defending the land that has been taken. A hundred plus ranchers have been run off of this land that they're standing on right now. Right. Okay. Yeah, I talked to some ranchers in town earlier who were Oh, sort of like. They've been run off the land. Yeah. And, and the federal government, okay, if you look it up, the people want to ignore the Constitution. Oh, cool. The federal government, oh, right. Article 1, Section 8, Paragraph 17 says the federal government can only oh, no. own land in certain instances, federal buildings, military bases. Right. They don't own this land. They actually manage it on behalf of the people. They don't own the land. Sure. They've been terrorizing ranchers, honest to goodness. They are the terrorists. The Hammond family is an example of that. Mm -hmm. They have literally terrorized them. There have been anomalies in their court case, and here's the bottom line. Their anomalies Tomorrow at 11. Are redress of grievances. Nobody up here is at liberty to the speak. state government, the county government, the okay. federal government have all ignored and basically put Mr. Dwight Hammond in jail as a death sentence. Sure. Actually, he's going to be seen right. by So it seems to me the problem is bigger than just, just the Hammonds. I mean, it's, it's about more. ranchers being denied permits. Hammonds are an example right, of Right, but it's why, a, a much bigger issue. Uh, the ranchers are being denied what? Well, I, I talked to one rancher who was saying, like, hey, I, I want to get a permit to expand my ranch. Right. And she's just what I know. I've seen okay. lists of, of endangered species that don't even exist mm -hmm. in advance of what the BLM is going to put out there in order to acquire land. Mm -hmm. In advance, saying, yeah. oh, well, let's go take this land because we can do it for the jumping mouse. Sure. They use environmental, and they actually use the environmentalists that are very passionate. I mean, we're all passionate about saving the environment. Right. They use the environmentalists to file lawsuits to protect these endangered species. It's all a made up thing. Sure. Because they want to get the ranchers off the land. The BLM is not even an agency of the federal government. They're actually a private corporation yeah. for the Department of Interior. They use the environment. The environmentalists don't even know that it's been used for this. Right. In an effort to box out the ranchers and eliminate private property rights, grazing rights, so on and so forth. This land, we we believe that we the people in each and every one of our counties across the country, we can manage it, we can manage it environmentally. Yeah. Uh, we can do so within our counties and within our states. The federal government 
has always in every instance they mismanage our finances. Sure. They definitely don't do a good job bureaucratically to, to, so, to manage. So are you staying up here with the guys? Or? No, in fact, uh, I yesterday I was part of the Hammond protest. Mm, right. Okay, the Hammond. Uh, yeah, I know it's a slightly separate. Not everyone who's in the protest. I was told at the last second. Okay, I was told yeah. at the last second for operational security reasons that we were going to go to, you know, to a wild bike preserve. And I'm like, oh, well, what's that all about? I didn't right. know. At the last second, then I found out about federal federal buildings. Yeah. I heard that rumor and I said, ah, I'm not into federal buildings. That's not what I do. I, I help people. Sure. Um, so I opted out um, of doing it. And I, oh. These guys all know that they were very disappointed because I was going to actually, gonna, I was going to come and cover it from the media. Okay. But I wasn't about, you know, defending buildings, I said. this is just Right. So, then I got caught up to speed within the past 24 hours as to what we're doing here. Yeah. Um, do I agree with the, the, the approach uh, to doing this? You know what, we probably should have had a you know, public relations campaign because if you heard the exact reasons why, yeah. it doesn't even matter where you are on the political spectrum. Both sides should be fighting for what for what we're fighting for. Sure, here. yeah. Should be, we should be doing it peacefully. Yeah. If we had a million people here, Right. We wouldn't need any guns. Yeah, yeah. We would just say, let's do this, <laughs> right. right? Let's restore the land back. Let's rejuvenate it. This this county, okay, Harney County, has been under economic warfare by the government. Literally, they, they shut down businesses. Yeah. They had a sawmill. It used to be one of the top counties, Boston, economic counties in the entire country. Now it's ranked among the lowest. So this is part of a rejuvenation process. I and mean, just think, if ranchers can be back on this land. Right. Uh, and, and, and farm again and do things and, and be self-sufficient. Yeah, yeah. And sustainability, right, sure. at the local level. What has the response been from law enforcement so far? Have you seen any guys up here? You know, here I'm or? disappointed. I'm, I'm truly disappointed uh, because I always believe, and I've got a lot of experience with, you know, working with law enforcement yeah, in Los yeah. Angeles just uh, because of the uh, work that I've done in the concert industry and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the most important yeah. thing to do is to have an open line of communication. Right. Because if uh, the sheriff was standing here, I actually went to see the sheriff myself. Oh yeah, what did, when did you see him? Didn't want to see him. Yeah. No, they, they want to cut off those lines of communication because we know, based on history, that the federal government will try to take control and they will try to bring force upon these people. They will literally kill these people that are here yeah. in order to you know to make their message. Are you concerned about them bringing force here? I am, uh, I am very concerned that not enough people are going to know story about what's happening. Mm -hmm. That's, That's my most really important concern. Sure. I believe the public deserves to know. That's why I'm here. Right. Uh, if everyone <laughs> understood what's happening here, constitutionally, yeah. uh, then they would be supportive of it, and maybe the federal government would back it sure. If there's a swift and decisive move by the federal government, it's the side. Right. If there's harm that's brought to them, they will demonize them. Okay, I'm telling you right now, uh, I am a life strike. I've been laying my life on the line for this fact. These are some of our nation's greatest patrons that come from all races, creeds, and colors. The CBS News put out there that these are a bunch of white guys. They never even see them. I don't even know what color they are. Yeah. And How I, many I, guys I are up there? You know what? There's, there's one behind every blade of grass. There's a million. Yeah, sure, but like, how many are physically up there? <laughs> There's two million. Behind <laughs> I've heard, I've heard one between be, fifteen, one, and one, 50. one behind yeah. every blade of grass, and you'll never know that number. Sure. Never. Is it because it's a security issue? You know what? For their own personal protection. Mm -hmm. You know, because if if I were to tell you, oh, there's, and I don't know the answer, by the way. Yeah. I, I don't know the answer, nor do I want to know. Sure. Because I don't want to even, bro I don't want to know, I don't want to broadcast out that there's 100 because they'll bring 500. Right. If I tell you 5,000, it's they're going to bring 10,000. Yeah. Um, because the federal government will try to bring force upon these people like they did at Waco, like they did at Ruby Ridge. They'll demonize them, they'll call them radicals, Christians, so on and so They do that. Yeah. To make the public accept what they're about to do, and that is to kill them. Okay? Do you think that's going to happen? Uh, if we, al if if we allow it. I yeah. appreciate you being out here. Talking to me um, and conveying, you know, the, the truth about what's happening here. They will. Our government, our federal government, will will try to kill these people. Yeah. And they've done so in, in the past, in past history. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um. So what what's the plan if if you do have some kind of national guard intervention or if the FBI I've, shows up? What's the plan? Uh, you know, I'm I'm hoping that that they would uh, first of all take uh, the most appropriate action, and that is to communicate. Yeah. Uh, you know what Which I would we hope for all police forces. So. We would want yeah. them to say, you guys have an opportunity to leave. This is what I hope, that if you brought 
the United yeah. States Marines in here. Yes. Okay, I know how the yeah. Marines work. Yeah. They'd say, uh, okay, you guys, you know, you've bent the sign. We're going to turn you over to local law enforcement to try to yeah. take it in. Like I said, the short we don't want to bring you yeah. It doesn't matter what agencies come and respond to this, okay? Yeah. Uh, they should treat these people with respect. They're all innocent until proven guilty. Sure, yeah. I don't even know what laws have been broken. I have no idea. But guess what? That's not up for me to decide or you to decide. Right, right. So let's treat them with respect. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I do know this. Not one of these individuals that I know of inside here, I know and love the people that are inside there, not one of them would ever fire a shot unless fired upon. Yeah. How do I know that? I have proof of that. Buddy Ranch was with them. Oh, okay. Yes. They would never fire a shot. Yeah. Never, ever, ever fire a shot. So would it, would it be accurate to say this was organized by the Bundy Brothers? You know, the full organization, I, I didn't have access to that. I yeah. really didn't know until well after. I, right. As a matter of fact, I literally, I literally had these guys in here. I was opposing them because I heard federal buildings. That was the rumor. Yeah. And so I was detached from them. Right. I don't know who organized it. Didn't know of the event until I was 30 feet from the Hammond, uh, the Hammond family. Got it. So who organized it? You know, I would say that we the people <coughs> have organized something that I would say less militant. Uh, we, we need to free up our land. We need to stop kicking land. We need to stop the federal government from terrorizing people. Ginger. Do you feel like you have Ginger. support from the Ginger. community and right. friends? Right. You, know, cool. you know, this is what I do know based on my... You know what? Hey, Deb. Yeah. Deb, I'm doing an interview right now. Can you grab the dogs? Yeah. Somebody let the dogs out. I did. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to let the dogs out. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> let the dogs out. Uh, anyways. Uh, uh, your, yeah, your community sport. Like Burns, do you mean? Okay, this is what I know from being on the past few days. Yeah. It's really uh, important to understand. So, uh, well, this is not spam, right? Sure. Ginger and children. Yeah, I'm going to speak out and say, no. Yeah, I've, I've felt oh, seen that as well. Yeah. They're now, they went from, hey, you guys are outside as you're coming to those guys. They heard that whole number of spam and defense. There's yeah. problems yeah. online that people are putting that out there. That I would say is probably the key element. Popular support needs to exist, mm -hmm. and it can exist because of the fear. Thanks for yeah. I did thanks, all the talking. Thanks for taking the time to That's talk. Right. I never talk. No problem. <laughs> now, how how that spun on, on no, Huffington no, Post? No. Well, I don't I don't write the headlines, but like <clears throat> I definitely feel sympathetic to the Rangers. And I'm Montana. Oh, we we all should be. Yeah. We should all be very sympathetic to uh, to the ranchers. A hundred ranchers have been kicked off of this land. Yeah, yeah. This is not an occupation, this is a restoration. Yeah, you need to give this one to yeah, This sure. is a restoration. Yeah, not an occupation, a restoration. It's a restoration. This is the second freest land in the country right now. Yeah. You know that, right? Sure. What do you Bundy think? Bundy Ranch is number one. Okay. The Got freest it. land in the country. Yeah. This land right here is the second freest land in the country. Got it. All right. Cool. Thanks. Why not? Yep, Appreciate thank it. you. This land is my land. This land is your land. <laughs>